to my channel, Bursts of Sunshine. It's Ashley. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own personalized custom Monopoly game. Now, this does not have to be a romantic gift. This would be good for just your friends or anyone in your family. I am using it as a romantic gift for a Valentine's Day gift for my husband, so I'm going to be calling it Loveopoly. Um, I seen this on Pinterest a couple of years ago, and I thought it was too cute. So you can hand make your board on a poster board. I chose not to do that because I just wanted to make it digitally and print it out because that's where I'm a little bit skilled at. I'm pretty good at being crafty on the computer with digital images. So I'm going to show you exactly how I made this Monopoly board, the properties, and the all the community chests and chance cards and everything strictly on like Canva and Ribbit. Like that's, I, that's what I make all mine on. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I made this board. It's mostly probably going to be me showing you how I use Canva and Ribbit, but it's super easy. I'm going to show you guys how I laminate the board and the properties and cutting out the cards and how I make my own personalized game pieces. So uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like Monopoly. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe so you can see every time I post a new video. Um, and let's just get into making this Monopoly because I'm just so obsessed with how it turned out. So let's get into it, shall we? For inspiration, I'm going to be using this old Monopoly game. This is actually from the year 2000 that we haven't touched in years. And so I'm going to use it kind of for my inspiration and so I can see how the cards are set up and how the board is set up. And I'm also going to use some of the pieces out of this game for my game, just so I don't have to make everything. So the board is the first thing I'm going to really take a look at so I can see how it's laid out and the properties so I can figure out how I want to make my board. As far as the money, I could make my own money, but I feel like that would be really time consuming and waste a lot of ink. So I'm just going to use the money that is here and also the same with the houses. I could probably make some type of houses, but that would just be too time consuming. So I'm going to make the properties, the community chest, and the chance cards. Those are the things that we're going to remake for our own little version, and I'm also going to remake the game pieces. So first, I save a blank Monopoly board off of Google, and I open it up in Canva. The original Monopoly board is 20 inches by 20 inches, so keep that in mind when you're making your dimensions on Canva when you're opening it up. So I opened up a blank template of 20 inches by 20 inches, which I always like to double it just so I make sure I get good quality. So 40 inches by 40 inches if you want. And then I have just placed the game board on it so it is the correct size. And then I'm just going to go in and add text and images to kind of customize this how I want it. I'm going to go in and make the home place first. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to make the utilities and make the properties. And I make these all custom to me. You want to make these custom to you. So if you're doing this for something with your friends or a significant other or loved one um maybe make all of the properties places you guys like to hang out or places you guys like to go or that's significant to your relationship i added in places that are significant to our relationship into mine i'm just going to go around the entire board using the text and just naming all of my properties custom names for us of course make these custom to you and i'm also going to add the prices for all the properties as well Instead of doing the electric company and the water company, I decided to make my utilities Wi-Fi and Netflix. Now I'm just going to show you real quick how I added my image to the middle of this board. So what I did was I just went to upload an image and I picked my image I was going to upload. I put it over top and then I just kind of cropped it down so it perfectly fit in the square in the middle. And then I used just a rectangular shape to make rectangles for the little cards, the community chest and the chance cards to sit on. So I kind of sized them and put them, placed them on there on top of the image. Now for the deed cards. For all the properties you make, you need matching deed cards. So I just went on Google and found this blank template for deed cards and I added a new page on the bottom of my board here and I just uploaded that image and put it in there. So I did this multiple, multiple, multiple times until I made enough properties to do all of them. And I'm gonna show you first how I make the utilities and the restaurants or the railroads. I just did restaurants because that seemed more significant to our relationship than railroads. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a white rectangle first to make these blank cards. So that way they don't have the little rectangles on the top because the restaurants and the utilities, or sorry, the railroads and the utilities don't have the little colored triangles. So I did upload logos for different restaurants that I'm going to put in here. These are just restaurants that we like to eat at often or really like his favorite restaurants. So that's why I chose these. I'm going to add in, of course, how much rent would be um, if you land on these properties and then what I did is I sized it the way I wanted it and then I just duplicated it 
and I put it on each card so that way they're all exactly the same size. And then I did the same for the little words that go in it. I actually looked at the cards that I own from my Monopoly board to type all these out, but you could probably Google it and get all of the information off of each card because every property card has different prices on them. So I just went in and I kind of just typed it out what it would say on the card um, for the this is for the restaurants or if you're playing actual monopoly the railroad i've seen them done on pinterest with cruise lines and stuff but i just thought the restaurants would be really cute and personal for us and then once i have it typed out again i just hit duplicate which just copies this image or the print that i have so that way they're all the same size and they're all lined up and look perfectly even once i get those done i'm going to show you how i make the properties with the colors i do the same thing with adding a shape i make it whatever color the property is going to be and then I just cover up the little white rectangle with it. I kind of had to zoom in to get it to fit perfectly because sometimes it don't always just match up right. Then I'm going to go and add the text and I'm just going to type in the locations. As you can see, I already have a few of them done when I recorded this, but it's because it would have took me 100 years if I'd recorded every single step. So then I went in and I added my words. I duplicated it so it's the same font and same size. And then I would just change what it said until I got all of my properties named. Then I went in and of course added my rent, sized it the way I wanted it, duplicated it, and then put it on all of the cards so they all had the rent amounts. And of course I changed them based on the cards. And I priced these exactly as they're priced in regular Monopoly. The only difference is I just changed the name of the properties. So I did go in for every single property and I changed the prices on every one of them to match what they are in the original Monopoly game. You can totally price these however you want. I just wanted it to make it so it was playable just like regular Monopoly because Donnie loves Monopoly. Donnie's my husband, by the way, if you didn't know. He loves Monopoly and we do play Monopoly sometimes. So I just wanted it to be very playable because I really think he's going to enjoy it if he can actually play it because he likes to beat me at Monopoly. <laughs> so I just did this for all of the property cards until they were all priced and made up. Now I'm going to open a new document and this is just going to be the size of a sheet of paper. So eight and a half by 11. I'm going to use this to make my community chest and chance card. So I'm just going to add a rectangle and I'm going to use the one with an outline so that way I can see where to cut it out. And then I'm going to size it down about how about a rough estimate of size I want it. I don't know exactly how big I made these cards. I just kind of eyeballed it so about eight would fit on a sheet. And then I duplicated it so they all of course were identical. And then this is going to be my layout for all my chance and community chess cards. So the first thing I did was save this so I have this exact layout. And then I opened it in Rivet. And the reason I did this is because I want each of these to print out the exact same size. So I used the same image for all of them. So first I made my logos for the back of the cards and then I deleted them and used the same original image to add the logos for the other cards just so they're all exactly the same size. After I made the images for the backs of the cards, I went back in, deleted the images and using the same photo, I added all of my little random activities is the word I'm gonna use. Like, you know, like, oh, you sold an item and you can customize these again to your, to your game you can, like i added some that are like go on a date night i added some that's like go to uh the huddle house and eat and <laughs> collect 200 dollars if you pass home you broke a phone charger replace it pay 15 dollars like just things that seemed like they were relevant so yeah definitely customize this to your game and to whoever you're making it for because it will make it so much more fun so next I'm going to make my Monopoly board where it's printable on multiple sheets. So I go to this website, rasterbaiter.net. I don't even know how I found this website. I come across it many years ago when I was doing wood projects and I'm gonna upload the image of my Monopoly game board. So on this website, of course, change this to US letter if that's the size sheets you're using. You can change your board out so you can print it as big as you want on however many sheets you want. I'm gonna do three sheets wide and I can tell you this actually come out to be larger than 20 inches. <laughs> Um, so just keep that in mind. It is going to be about three or four inches larger than 20 inches if you do the three page one like I did. It makes your image into a PDF file that can be printable and then taped together into like one big poster, which is what I wanted. And this is completely free to use. All the programs I'm using in this video are free to use. Then I'm going to print out my board and print out my properties and print out my chance and community chess cards that I've made since I now have everything made up. So to print out the chance and community chest, first I print out the words and then I put the same piece of paper back in the printer so it prints on the other side of the sheet and I print the logos. So that way they perfectly print out on the cards evenly just like on the real game where you've got a front and a back. 
Now I'm going to take scissors and I'm going to trim off all of the extra margins off of my game board and place it together so it looks beautiful. And then I'm going to add some scotch tape just a little bit here and there just to kind of hold it together so I can laminate it. So I don't have a laminator. If you do, I mean, Jesus, that will make this so much easier. I do not. So I'm going to use my old handy trusty packaging tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay the board out and then slowly tape over the entire length of the board and then I'm going to flip it over and tape over the entire length of the board again of course leaving a little excess on the edge so it kind of seals it in and then I'm just going to take some scissors and trim off my excess you will get a few wrinkles in this when you're doing it just rub them out with your finger it's fine I cut out all of my little cards for my life surprises and lucky in love which is my chance and community chess cards and for storing I just wrap a rubber band around them I'm going to also laminate my properties and my utilities just so they're a little bit sturdier. I did not laminate the chance and community chess cards, but I'm going to laminate these. And it's the same process. Just put some tape on it so it overhangs off the edge. Press it down so it's on there good and flat and sealed. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Again, if there's wrinkles, just kind of rub them out with your finger. Just try to lay it as flat as possible. And you shouldn't have too many problems. Uh, nobody's going to notice a few wrinkles here and there. So I'm going to press all the tape down really good so it's nice and secure and sealed. And then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to trim off the edges, all of the excess tape right along the edge of the paper. And as you can see, um, it laminates it. And I did this for all of the properties and all of the utilities. Oh, let, let me mention, by the way, I use cardstock for all of this. I printed every single thing I printed. I printed it all on cardstock, so it's not regular paper. It's just a little bit thicker than regular paper. So keep that in mind too. I definitely use cardstock and not thin flimsy paper. I feel like that that matters. So again, once I get all these laminated, I'm gonna put a rubber band around them to store them and they're ready to rock and roll. We have to have some custom game pieces. I don't wanna use the crappy ones that my Monopoly comes with because frankly, my Monopoly does not have any cool pieces. So I have this little heart mold that I got at the dollar store for a dollar and I'm going to just take some polymer clay, some of the oven bake polymer clay. You can get this at the dollar store, Walmart, craft stores, and it's super cheap. And I'm just going to fill up the hearts. I'm going to do a blue one and a pink one, just one for him and one for me. And you can do these whatever colors or shapes you want. And I have these little letter presses I'm going to use just to kind of customize them a little more. And I'm going to put a D on his for Donnie. And then, of course, an A on mine for Ashley. And I'm just going to press it in there with my fingers. It ain't no, it don't have to be professional because it's just for my little loved one here. And I'm going to bake these in the oven according to package instructions so they are sturdy. Now, I'm going to make an image for the inside of my box because I'm going to store these in a wooden box for Donnie just to kind of present it to him in. And so I did just open up a standard size sheet of paper on Canva and I'm just going to kind of customize my own little message, just letting him know what it is and how to play can pause it to see what I'm doing if you want. I just went in and added text and images and scooted them around till they looked the way I wanted them to. A lot of Valentine's Day-ish looking colors. I added some hearts and some lips and just some cute messages and I just kind of adjusted it here and there until I got it looking how I wanted it to look. And then I did just print this on regular paper. So now I'm going to take my wooden box. You can get wooden boxes tons of places. This actually was a cheap art set that come from the dollar store. I just took the art supplies out and I had an empty box. So I'm going to add just a blank piece of paper on the bottom and my little instructional paper on the top and we have a personalized little box for air pieces. So I'm going to add in my properties, my chance cards, my game pieces, and then I'm going to throw in the dice and money from my other Monopoly game and also some houses and hotels just to kind of make it look complete and then we have our complete little monopoly set that I can gift him for Valentine's Day again you don't have to do this for Valentine's Day you can make just one for your friends or your family or whatever just as long as it's custom to whoever you're giving it to and playing it with they are gonna love it and you are going to love how it turned out because I'm seriously obsessed <laughs> liked this video and I hope you liked 
how this cute Monopoly board came out. I would love to know if you guys make one. Let me know in the comments below if you end up making a Monopoly board. Although it was time consuming and a little bit of work, it was definitely worth it and I'm so excited to give this to him. I like want to give it to him right now because I'm just so excited. So guys, I hope you guys like it. If you thought this turned out really cute, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see every time I post a new video and I will see you guys next week. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.